with the tough times that we are in right now, COVID-19 pandemic, a lot has changed or rather a lot has taken effect and that means evolving when it comes to business ideas, recreation, and uh, most of the businesses we have seen have gone online. But when it comes to setting up a shop and ensuring security or online safety, when it comes to payment, a lot comes into play. Now, that's what we shall be discussing today, but start texting us right now. Talk to us. Our SMS line is 20146. Talk to us across our social media platforms at Metropole TVKE and also me on Twitter at Tabitha Muthoni. And yes, my name is Tabitha Muthoni and this is Game Changers, a show that brings you up to speed on what's trending on or rather what's happening on the tech space in Kenya's tech space market. All right, and when we say ensuring online or rather security, online security payments, I'm joined by Dave Ngugi, CEO of Mzezi.com. Karibu to our show today. Thank you. Okay, so maybe let us uh, start with uh, the understanding of what Mzezi.com is all about. It's an e-commerce platform, but yes, on a wider scope, maybe you can expand for us. So Mzizi is an online shop platform and uh, what we do is we enable business owners to and mm -hmm. small businesses to be able to own their own online shops. Yeah. So basically we'll set, we'll, you just sign up simply on our site and we'll mm -hmm. set you up with your own shop that mm -hmm. is fully branded mm -hmm. uh, so that allows you to keep your identity mm -hmm. and uh, you don't have to be behind mm -hmm. anyone else's brand and you can grow mm -hmm. your own brand, yes. Okay, our topic today is ensuring um, security when it comes to online payment how what kind of system or what sort of system have you put in place to ensure that uh, online payments are secure yeah so we control how payments are made on mm -hmm. zizi and yeah. that is through our backend system where mm -hmm. we are able to weed out fraudulent payments from the, the legitimate payments uh -huh. We have something known as a, a merchant buyer protection system. Merchant buyer protection system. Y yes. Uh -huh. So that enables, uh, it protects both the merchant and mm -hmm. the buyer. Uh -huh. So on the buyer side, uh, the way it works is um, mm -hmm. if you buy an item from the online shop, mm -hmm. um, your money is safe up until the point you receive it. So once mm -hmm. the item gets to you and mm -hmm. you're happy with it, mm -hmm. then the money is released to the shopper, uh, to the, sorry, to the merchant. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, for the merchant, we protect them from fraudulent payments. Uh -huh. uh, you find sometimes people will pay with stolen cards yeah. or and the likes. Mm -hmm and uh, you have what are known as chargebacks mm -hmm. and when the chargebacks hit then they'll hit the merchant mm -hmm. uh, so the way we do it is we take we take the heat on their behalf basically uh -huh. so we protect the merchant so it's both bo on both ends you're protected mm -hmm. yes and what happens when it's you that is uh, maybe has been banned like you no know, you're the one who is uh, getting that th the backlash how do you go about it um so we have an intelligent uh, payment system uh -huh. which is able to flag when payments are being made fraudulently mm -hmm. and stolen cards stolen cards uh -huh. uh, so basically you you have your card lost and someone decides to to mm -hmm. use it, use it yeah. um, so what we do is we will flag whenever we detect that a card you know sometimes what happens is mm -hmm. when someone is using a fraudulent card they would they would use their real names but then the card, the name on the card is different. different. So anytime we notice uh -huh. that kind of discrepancy, mm -hmm. that is flagged and then we'll do a manual verification mm -hmm. to make sure that that card actually belongs to, yeah. to you. And what's, uh, what if it's the other way around, like I use this person's name, because I can see from the card, this is card company, and then I use the exact name. How do you get to know about that? So a lot of times mm -hmm. th there will always be something that's amiss. Yeah. Maybe there's an email that's amiss. Uh, uh -huh. Also the system has a way that it analyzes and scores uh -huh. uh, how much a card is mm -hmm. detected to be fraudulent. Mm -hmm. When that happens, then yeah. you're able to flag it and actually check. Mm -hmm. So it's a totally encrypted system on your end? Yes, yes. And uh, we mm -hmm. also use encryption on, on all the sites. So whenever uh -huh. you have your online shop on Zizi, mm -hmm. it's, it's encrypted. Mm -hmm. Uh, using SSL and the likes, yeah. Okay, great. Now, so I have a shop, but uh, I don't have a website. Maybe mm. I'm selling cosmetics or even maybe food, clothes, you name it. How do I get to sign up on Mizizi? On Mizizi? Yeah, so it's pretty simple. Most likely, like you said, you have you have a Facebook page where you've been 
mm -hmm. pushing out your products. Yeah. So guys know about your products, but how do they pay for them? So uh -huh. that brings in the next angle. So yeah. you sign up on Mzizi, uh, mm -hmm. pretty straightforward. It's yeah. it's a it's a one one page process. Mm -hmm. Can you do a practical one? Yeah, yeah. Practical we, signing up. We, yeah? we can we can simulate mm -hmm. maybe a shop you'd like to. Okay. So, so mzizi.com. Yeah. Uh -huh. So once you're there, uh, yeah. just hit the sign up button. It's, mm -hmm. it's pretty seamless. Okay. So email. we'll have your email in there. Um, okay, my actual email. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here you go. Uh -huh. Tabitha. For how long have you been doing this? Uh, for two years now. Um, wow. Yes. And you're just based here in Nairobi? Uh, we cover countrywide, so uh -huh. we have sellers in Kisumu, Mombasa, uh -huh. across the country, basically. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mobile phone number? Yeah. Okay. Uh, looking at the various uh, places you are in, then I select business type. Yes. Okay. Select your business type. Beauty and health? Yep. Okay. How about... Mm hmm okay let's go with this one looks easier shop name tabs <laughs> is it typing yeah okay. can type now okay which market can you see sells a lot um well the the shoppers from different places will sell you know in different rates of course the, mm -hmm. the advantage with being online is there isn't a limitation to who, you, who to who can buy your products mm -hmm. So anytime you can just uh, create, create your shop. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah. So no need to. Clean this Beauty piece. and health. Yep. Uh huh. Yes. What's mm -hmm. your type of business? Okay. There's a problem with the. Okay. No. Oh, ah, okay. good. We're good. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. You signed up. It's mm -hmm. it's pretty that simple. That's just it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. So uh -huh. from there, the the rest of the steps are are quite simple. You mm -hmm. once your shop is set up, you'll just sign up on our on our payments backend. This is where you receive uh, one mm -hmm. the payments once yeah. a customer makes a purchase. Um, initially, just what send is Paytree? When what's Paytree? So Paytree is the payments backend. This uh -huh. is where all the payments uh, get to first, mm -hmm. and from there you can withdraw your money instantly. So mm -hmm. immediately a delivery is done, mm -hmm. then you're able to withdraw because we actually do the deliveries for the online shops. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and which market has worked for you? You have said you're in Nairobi, Nairobi, Mombasa. Basically, you have sellers across uh -huh. the country um, uh -huh. and buyers also across the country. Uh -huh. So you find like about a third of the purchases that have been made mm -hmm. on the different from the different shops. Mm -hmm. Actually, we have over two thousand seven hundred different businesses on our platform. Mm -hmm. So you find about a third of the purchases made are actually made in very small towns in uh -huh. remote areas. Yeah. Okay. So sign up on Paytree. That mm. could be could mean maybe Mpesa. Yeah. So card. you. Yeah. So you can pay via Mpesa cards, uh -huh. Equitel, basically all the major uh, pay, payment, payment platforms yeah, available in yes. the country. Yes. Okay. And then you have send us product images and pricing. Then now I send you images, yes. pictures of my products. Yes. Okay. And then. And uh, that's then it. Then click email. <laughs> yeah, click so to email. Okay, that's yes. for for sending the for sending. images. Get ready to start selling. That's just it. That's it. It's okay. just three steps. Yeah. Then follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Okay. So how do you go about your sensitization? How do people get to know about Mzizi? For example, now I'm struggling as an SME. I want to put up shop, but how do I get to know about Mzizi? I have no idea about it. Um, well, we'll set up in trade expos, uh -huh. we'll, we, we do advertise uh, uh -huh. basically across social media, uh -huh. search engines, if you look for us on Google, how, uh -huh. you know, uh, get an online shop in Kenya, you should uh -huh. find Mzizi there. Uh -huh. Uh, word of mouth. A lot, yeah. Actually, we've received very good, uh, you know, referrals Feedback. to very good merchants. Oh, referrals, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what we have here. These are some of your customers. Yeah, so this is um, it's a merchant discovery page. It just uh -huh. it's just a way where we try at least and create some more visibility for mm -hmm. most of the 
merchants on our platform. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, and what can you say are some of the challenges that you have had to undergo, especially when it comes to the payment system that you have? Um, well, of course, apart from maybe the, the fraudulent payments, yeah. uh, the, the other thing has been the understanding. You know, our concept is a bit different uh, mm -hmm. from, from what is there in the market. Yeah. Uh, you find that the way we do it is we allow the business owner to be able to own their own shop. Mm -hmm. um, most people have been exposed to the marketplace setup where mm -hmm. you find that you have you sell your products mm -hmm. on someone else's platform basically a marketplace yeah. the challenge with that is you're not growing your brand you're just mm -hmm. selling products you, so people will not mm -hmm. identify your brand exclusively uh -huh. yeah but uh, with ZZ we allow you to get that exposure grow mm -hmm. your brand and uh, you find um, that most of the shoppers let's say you even have a physical shop mm -hmm. The way you should view your online shop, it should be an extension of that physical shop. Mm -hmm. And you'll find that about 80% of the customers that will visit your yeah. offline shop will most likely have started online. Mm -hmm. And you'll find those that came to your physical shop didn't make the purchase, but once they know it, find you they're comfortable making yeah. uh, the shift. So Def That's how most businesses work. Exactly. If I know I can get something directly, how I use the middleman. Exactly. Yeah. So... Probably what can we say is um, maybe the future of um, ZZ.com and also let's first look at how you make money. What mm. is in it for you as a businessman? Because you're not only putting up this website to, yes. for people to come have their shops on your platform, mm. but what are you gaining as a businessman at the end so of the day? Sign up is free. Uh -huh. uh, so the catch for us is we charge a commission, 4.5%. Uh -huh only when you make a purchase. Uh -huh. So that simply means if you're selling an item which is worth a thousand bob, mm -hmm. we'll make 45 bob from it. 45 bob? Yeah. Whoa. Only when these people... Uh, make a purchase. Only when you sell? Yes. Only when someone buys? Someone buys your items. Yeah. Whoa, tough times. So <laughs> looking at uh, the pandemic right now that you are in, how, what can you say is the, is the market so far? How many people are buying? How, how many people are coming on board? And still, not looking at the percentage that you mm. get, is <laughs> it still the same for you? Yes, the percentage <laughs> remains the uh, same. Uh, yeah. The thing is, fortunately or unfortunately, mm -hmm. <laughs> COVID has <laughs> accelerated uh, yeah. the shift towards online business. Mm -hmm. So we've got the signups have grown. There are more people who are now willing to, you know, explore how they can move their businesses online. Uh -huh. Some have made a complete shift, 100%. They mm -hmm. no longer still have their physical locations. Yeah. Um, and purchases also, there, there has been a shift. Initially, there was uh, mm -hmm. a lot of purchasing of essential items, sanitizers, yeah. masks, and mm -hmm. what have you. Mm -hmm. But then now people are moving towards now conventional goods. People are now yeah. buying what they would have previously bought mm -hmm. in physical shops online. Mm -hmm. So that shows that somehow the market is beginning to get comfortable with now buying. So it's a double-edged uh, kind of like for you? Yes. Wow, wow. Okay, then what can you say is the future of um, online in Kenya mm -hmm. and also for Mzizi as a brand? So for Mzizi as a brand, we, look mm -hmm. to, we are looking to grow across the whole continent and mm -hmm. support businesses across. Uh, you should be able to sell whatever product it is mm -hmm. that you have in the country. It should be able to be purchased by a guy who's yeah. in Tanzania, by mm -hmm. a guy who's in Ghana. Yeah. So we are looking to be able to democratize that space so that it's very easy for you to mm -hmm. grow your business irrespective of where your business is yeah. located. Mm -hmm. So I think the future is, is quite bright. Mm -hmm. The percentage of businesses that are online right mm -hmm. now is quite small. It's about 5% yeah. across the whole continent. Mm -hmm. There's a whole ninety-five percent to be mm -hmm. to be explored, yeah. Wow, and thanks to technology. Yes. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Dave Ngoge, CEO of Zezi.com, Kazin Zore. Asante. Okay, that's it for Game Changers. You can get talking to us, SMS line 20146. If you have a product you'd like it featured here, talk to us on that SMS line. Also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Get to watch our videos. All Game Changers videos are up there. Let us showcase your product and you never know, you never know where your client will come from because we speak 
to the investors. That's it for Game Changers. My name is Tabitha Muthoni. Continue enjoying the rest of your program.